What's it weigh? 600 pounds. Holy shit. About 600 pounds. For real? Yeah, you'll be somewhere in that range. I'm kind of more inclined to say five. How'd it get in here? Uh, you got that in here? By yourself? Yeah. Gotta get upside down. Uh, watch your head. Use that jack right there. And, um, I just I put some blocks up and I just gradually kind of lowered it, removed, and had another another jack in here. Just double it. You gonna leave black marks all over the floor? Uh, it shouldn't. Is the thing? Well, we got we got enough dudes. I mean, fucking six dudes. That's a hundred. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. That's no problem. All right. They're taking apart the rail. As soon as they're done, cool. you can just relax. No, I'm gonna help you guys with this. You can relax and then we'll get it off of here. It's probably, out of all the stuff I've done, it's probably one of my favorites. The glass one? Yeah, you want to see that? I'll see it when we get right. it together. Right. Yeah, half inch glass. Um, oh shit. I went 3 eighths, and then I decided not to do 3 eighths. Um, in fact, the lady in the glass box I used, she said that uh, go half inch, so I went ahead and did it. Terry's been on video with us before. It's uh, Southern Rust Furniture Design. That's his Facebook and you can Instagram too, right? Oh uh, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, Southern Rust Furniture Design. Um, Amanda wanted a desk. They talked about a couple things, and he came up with this. And they went back and forth one, two times, and this is the final. Um, I've seen some rough pictures of it. I haven't seen it. Amanda's not even here right now, so. We're going to get it up in there. It weighs about 600 pounds. We're going to get it up there, get it set up, and uh, that's her desk. So We made the um, box with all the spikes all over it that uh, has the tequila and salt. It's a humidor, actually, but it, we use it to carry, you know, well, to put you know, tequila shit in. Yeah, yeah it turned out real well. How many turn out real pleased with this. So where, what's that? What are the gears from, and what's the chain? So, where all the gears are from um, are off of uh, the rear sprocket drives off of bulldozers, and then uh, the chain is a bare chain that came out of an old factory out of Columbia, uh, Tennessee, and then the the, uh, the casters are actually off of Hunter Army Airfield in Savannah, Georgia. Um, they were getting rid of some old uh, old old um, some of their shop equipment, and uh, and I just kind of stumbled across the casters. And then these are airplane tugs. So the when you see like at the airport when you see a, uh, one of the tugs, um, they'll have an attachment with a spring, and this is how they tow those big airplanes around. Like those small, that's small, yeah, it just buffers the thing. So that's two of those on there as well. What were they making? What did the factory make? Um, I have no idea. I have no idea for the chain. It's old chain. Like it's it's um, it's very old chain. Uh, I say old, but maybe 50s, somewhere in there. And I think it had been sitting there for many, 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 many years. factory had been shut down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, like ghosts in, ghost in there and stuff? Yes. All right, so when you pick it up, don't pick it up with by the by the roping here. Just try to get it as best you can. Hey, where's, where's Ken at? Leg. You see what I'm saying? Right. Kid? Don't, don't cut your finger. Yes. Is there, is there sharp shit on there that'll cut him? Because he'll get cut. There's, there's, you know, there's, there's, right. there's no sharp Remember stuff. Um, just don't, hey, if you don't touch the wire. He's, he's not a human feel. Yeah. I was going to say if he is. We'll be out. Yeah. the cables. One, two, three. Okay, good. We'll be done with some shit and he'll go inside and be bleeding. There you go. Get that out of the way. Let me do this hard part right here for you. Right, right here. I'll do that. Fuck it. Okay, you got a spot? Maybe we got to go all the way down the lane. With blue legs. Prolapse right, anus. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh. Okay, come on. Watch those. That's okay. That deck's not made for that kind of weight. Go sideways. Not at all. Okay, go over here. Sorry, there you go. Keep going. We put uh, 270, 500 pound axles on this trailer so we can carry heavier loads. Can you put a horse, do you tie the horse to it? Uh, the horse has never been in this trailer. It's all been furniture for 20 years. But if you, it is a horse trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't just fucking put a horse in there, right? Uh, uh, it has a being here, and there's actually a wall we have in the house. And just dressed up here. But my horses, they won't fit in that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Doing great. There's your desk.
Chick-fil-A I ever bought. Did you? <laughs> did you really? 300 bucks? That's in, incredible. No, because I was talking to Bill and I was 300 like, 300 in Chick-fil-A coupons. Oh, seriously? Yeah. And we got to do the Chick-fil-A, oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> Is that going to fit through there? It will when you turn it. It will fit just like that. All right, let me explain something to you. Like glass if glass something glass happens glass to those strong. pieces of glass, we cannot get them. You just jump off fucking head first if one of you breaks that fucking left. Except Ken, because he'll bleed a lot. Now he should bleed because he's already bled so much already. All that shit the Army gave you, I'll bet you can't even bleed anymore. Amanda, watch your head under here. <laughs> you going all the way over with it, or you want to go we're in? Gonna go, we're going to go yeah. in further a little bit, all right? Ready, one, two, three, go, go. Right there, come on, book. Okay, uh, how do we flip it? All right, uh, down on each corner, we're just going to kind of roll it over. Does that make sense? It does. Okay, so as long as somebody's on the back side to keep it steady so that it doesn't roll backwards, I think we'll be okay. I guess I'll take the back side, bro. Did you break one? I did, yeah. That's okay. I've got the stuff to fix that. Oh, all right. So, there's any other one over there. Two of them, yeah. He's got the stuff. Okay, so ready. One, two, three. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. That's it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. So good. All right. That's it. Go back to your ground. Go this way. All right. Right side. She said, yeah, this will <laughs> go flip it around. <laughs> she said she wants it. Is this how it goes? Is this where you want it? Is it going here? That's fine, right there. It's right fine here? for now. All right, excellent. I can move it if I need to. All right. So, Mandy, you got your locks. Um, two of the little things broke coming and bring it up. I've got the glue that I'm using on his box. Okay. I'm going to bring it back and. Perfect. Right. Cool. Yeah. What broke? This one right here. Yeah. Oh, who broke it? It just, it just probably could the process. No, I'm of looking, moving it I'm looking up, for so. to assign. I'm looking no. to assign Bill. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it could have been me. <laughs> yeah. 
So, you good? Oh yeah, you like it's it? awesome. Okay. So is this all rusty? Yes. Like so what I did is trash. This clear coat's going to dull over a couple of months. So mm -hmm. just leave it and it's going to become a real nice finish. So you saw the dull finish on my coffee tables. Mm -hmm. um, that's how it's going to end up. So just uh, let it do its thing and yep. let it air out and it's going to be just fine. So what do you, what do, you do to clean it? <clears throat> I mean like how, from, from taking oh. it out completely fucked up. And so um, I take, so this whole chain was covered with grease, everything on here. So what I do is I take a wire brush and then I take some grease cleaner and I scrub each link. And so being all greasy, it. so it wasn't too, it wasn't too degraded. It wasn't. It, the chain itself, I was worried about it being degraded when I picked it up, like it would have rust throughs because you can't see the chain when it's covered with dirt and grease and everything else. And it came out really well. So was it on a piece of equipment or was it just sitting on the ground when you guys got it? I don't even know. I can't even find the piece of equipment that this chain goes to. Somebody out there might know, um, but I. The, the warehouse I got it was just, it was basically laying in a corner. And that's cool. I was just like, I'll take that. That looks good. I love the shape, the scallop shape on it. And the, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So the casters turned out well. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, they all, yeah, they all work. So is this on that's your lockdown yet? right there. Is this, on, is this on Pinterest yet? Um, no. It will be. Yeah. It will be soon. The, um, it, the only thing I posted it on was Facebook, and that was the progress photos that yeah. you saw last week on Facebook, just to just to kind of get it out there a little bit. But um, it's almost got an un, like a it's a free floating like I mean these aren't going anywhere, you know. Right. But it's it's like this, this should be supported or something. You've got that kind of air about it, and once the glass gets on it, it's yeah. Let me see what the glass on. It. Yeah, the glass is really good. Does yeah. she need to put the little rubber pieces? I've got them. I've got them in the car. Awesome. Yeah. How many contact points will you have to put on this? Um, I'll probably do six or eight uh, contact points, um, mostly on the, this gear here, and uh, maybe a couple out here. But that, mostly it'll be just this, and that's all it needs. That thing's so, awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. It, uh, it was definitely a passion project. <laughs> so, um. But the, the style is actually a kidney, quote, quote unquote, a kidney desk, uh, is what I kind of, uh, an old designer named Duncan Fife, some of y'all out there may know him, but uh, Duncan Fife designed a kidney desk, and um, that's kind of where I got the shape for this. Um, it just made sense to do yeah. this one. So, the glass will overhang two inches on each side, Perfect. all the way around. To give you plenty of space. Awesome. That was cool, man. That's, it's very cool. Yeah. So if people contact you, will you do custom work? I do custom work. Okay. Yeah. Anybody wants to contact me? You... Southern Rust. Southern Rust Furniture Design. Hit me up on Facebook. I'd be glad. I'd love to work for some people out there, especially SOE people. I love it. So, uh, yeah. That's cool, man. Where are you going to put that painting? Oh, probably right, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Well, no, I'm, because it'll be against the black wall. <laughs> Justin Souders painted a, a couple. He did one for um, Justin Swinney that we showed at the party. He did my big grenade, and he did Amanda's straight razors. And uh, he makes all his own ink, and he paints all the paintings with his penis, which is it's amazing. Different. It's amazing. Unbelievable I would talent. imagine it takes it's, a while and a lot of Viagra. It is. But uh, and, and, a, <laughs> and a pee hole cork so he doesn't get paint in his pee hole. <laughs> like that little catfish in Africa gets up there. It is definitely a skill so, set. So is that a sound that you're using? Or? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. It looks good with his rug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was worried about how dark it was going to be. I didn't here. even know this was going to be here. I was, and I, when I rolled it, I was like, okay. Yeah, all right, that was great. Do you have your chair here? I have a chair here. See the height? Yes. Yes. We've been to uh, We've been two Danes furniture yeah. store. Yeah. So we just we got some stuff from them mm -hmm. delivering Monday. And two and, uh, like I've been looking at furniture stores in Nashville for seven years since we've been here. I just don't find really you know what I'm what looking you for. Want. Yep. And we walked in there and they had like ninety percent of the stuff. You know, hard lines, leather, steel. So we got some stuff. Have you seen the they have a suspension chair? The shock on it. It's like fucking, they're like two grand though. Yeah. Is that the um, from the company in Sweden? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I know what you're so saying. So they have the little chair. They have yeah, a little chair. Yeah, yeah. You sit like this, 
and then they have these other chairs and like all their bar stools and shit will come from here up to here. I don't even know. So that's perfect. Awesome. But they've got these ergonomic desks. Great desk, yes. So mm -hmm. you can know what you're you can be working when your arms get tired and you want to stand up. You just the, the whole the workstation will raise up and down. Mm -hmm. Pretty. That's cool. You're gonna need a different chair. So why? Because you're gonna take that one. Well, I'll just take the arm off. So I lowered the desk about an inch and a half. Okay. <laughs> because of, For because me? of the height. <laughs> so well, if you want to, yeah. so you can drop down if you want to. And luckily, I buy adjustable chairs. Yeah, exactly that's good. That reason. And your feet still don't touch the floor. Well, that's what they I'm do if I sit forward. We have I asked Justin this question. I said, does her, do her feet touch the floor when she works at her desk? He, she, Not, she, he goes, no way. I said, okay, we're going to see if we can. But I got Velcro pads close. for all the accelerators and brake pads. <laughs> Not yes. not even when I sit on the toilet. <laughs> we, have, we, have little four by, we have little platforms around the toilets. <clears throat> Unless it's one of the, like, the little kitty toilets that you see in like right. preschools and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just always kind of been that way. It's got some trailer stuff on there. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Clean All right, so glass is next. Yeah, okay, glass. let's go get the glass. <laughs> they might have it on. Oh shit, did they just put that rail back together? Yes. Hey! <laughs> we, we got we walk the glass. We got more shit to come up. Did Jeff say put the glass on? Is this going to be a gem up here? Hang on. Did Jeff say put the glass on? John's the one to ask that question. I know it's their personal one. I think we can get upstairs. That is a mighty big piece of glass. Yes, it is. Not a horse. He bought two white stallions. Okay. They're up on the hill. You can go check them out when you're done with the glass. When you're done with the glass, right. he's not moving the glass. Why not? He's got a fucking retard sheet. Not as retarded yeah, as don't get your fingers as uh, old flip flops <laughs> over there. <laughs> Fingerprints. Well, he's trained for. You actually. Oh. Can you train it out yourself? I got it. I got it. Got the back. You okay? I'm good. All right. Does it not look that heavy? It really doesn't. But Does this look heavy? It looks like a, just an empty box to me. Go ahead and lift that up and fucking turn it around for me. It doesn't look that heavy. That four seat razor doesn't look that heavy. Can you move it over there for me? <laughs> Once you're up there, I can sit down. Okay, so. What's that, a smoke grenade can? Oh, hand grenade. Who's, who had those? Where'd they come from? That's from, uh, that's for you, old man. I'll probably you one. Awesome.
What's up, Cameron? Hey. It's Dakota number two. <laughs> That's what I want to say. So when they buy furniture from you, you come out and, and deliver and install it all anywhere in the United States? Yes. Um, yeah, we just did a major shipment out to California. Oh, I was just messing with you. You really do Yeah, that. we really do that. <laughs> we actually do that. Um, we charge for delivery, but most of the time it's less than like shipping companies. So it gives us a vacation. We get to go and travel <laughs> and see some cool places and meet some incredible people. But uh, we just delivered a whole truckload of uh, humidors actually out to California. Really? So, yeah. That's cool. Yep. Did you start with blanks, or did you build those all from scratch? Those were all scratch. Really? Um, I, I should say some of the, most of them were from scratch. I'd say about seventy-five percent of that order was was built, and then uh, the other part was um, was old boxes, like really old boxes that we we put shells and things like that on to uh, to ship out there. So, and it was all uh, the customer in Northern California just loved them, and I thought they were going to a business, and it turns out they were just going in his home. Wow. Yeah. Was he a cigar guy or what? cigar guy? Major yeah, cigar guy. Okay. Yeah. You need some shoes. What size shoe do you wear? He has nice shoes. He just won't wear them. What size shoe do you wear? Twelve or thirteen. It's a big shoe. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try it this way and see if it needs to work. Sorry about the fingerprint. Oh, I have a lot of glass cleaners. I was gonna say I got some on neck gloves. To clean <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how that works. Are you good? It's not very heavy, but I'm trying not to leave fingerprints. Don't worry about the fingerprints. Yeah, yeah, it's going to have to be yeah. washed anyway. Yeah. And everything cleans it, cleans it right up, and yeah. shows the piece off. Yeah. We thought about putting a bevel on one inch bevel all the way around, and we tried a uh, just a smaller round piece on one one end of this, and it took so much away from everything else. Yeah, it's just nice. cleans up it's, the edge. It's, 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 it's clean. Yeah, yeah and it's perfect. got that style. I think that I think you'll like. Yes. So, very the clean line and stream. Yeah, polished edge. Yes. Looks like there should be a little pterodactyl or something in there. <laughs> so I would like um, <laughs> a cage. Okay. Keep a little creature in. Okay. <laughs> Probably. You know, like you, like you, if you had Gollum. Uh huh. Like something you keep him in. Okay. Is that for Justin? No, I just I don't know. <laughs> put it there. Just okay. put something in. And I want to. Uh, and I've seen them, like, Ikea had some, but it wasn't what I wanted. And I want a um, coffee table, I don't know, maybe four by four feet, mm -hmm. maybe bigger. And I want to have four drawers that slide out, one out each side. Yes. So they're half drawers, so they kind of, you know, kind of like a um, blade of a, a windmill kind of. Uh -huh. um, and I want to be able to glass on top, tight fitting, doesn't have to be airtight. But I want to put snakes in them. Okay. So for Christmas, I can put like green and red snakes. Halloween, I can put orange and black snakes. Yes. Put them in, you know, the lounge area or whatever. Um, I'm not really concerned about locking. I mean, maybe we can put some kind of little fixture on there or something. I was gonna say if you need locks, that's okay too. Yeah, we can. We but can I'd, I'd like to have, you know, something that you you know what we're looking for. Yes. Kind of a look, something that blends in there. Um, nice heavy ass sheet of glass like that okay. would be perfect. Um, Metal wood. I mean, just run with it. What you think? Yeah. Are you good with the metal wood mix? I like. Yeah, I do. I do like the. Like when we bought that table, um, we bought we bought the furniture around the table, so we had some wood and some metal. And all together. I'm buying um, next week. I go out to a lady's house. She's tearing down her old barn that's from the late 1800s. Oh, okay. And um, so I'm getting all of that barn wood. Some of it's maple. Some of it's two inches thick. Some of it's just an inch thick. Mm -hmm. Almost three quarters and. Um, I'll blend that stuff in because it looks good. It's really good looking stuff. Also, some of it's proper, and um, which fits into this area real well. Um, but yeah, man. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not in, a, not in a huge hurry. I okay. Mean, if you start it tomorrow, awesome. If it's you know months away, whatever. I mean, I've been we've been talking about this table for ten years probably. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do it for you. Man. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd I'd love to, to have it, another piece from you. And love, love to work do it for us. Awesome. Man, thank you. Yeah, I love that. We'll always it'll always be something off the wall. You know? <laughs> Different is always good. You gotta be. Can if you come across like an old time um, haunted wheelchair? <laughs> Actually, so Justin and I've been, I've been, uh, we've been talking about this. Um, we had one. We yeah. saw it. Um, I think a little while ago. I thought it was still in the barn, so only rummage through our barns. Y'all need to come out by the way and to the farm and just check out and kind of rummage and. and Man, I just hang see, out. I just, I just see the, the house. Farm, yeah. The house we live in is supposedly haunted. Mm. Which uh, I gotta say, some strange things that have happened in there. So, if y'all are into that stuff, come out. We'll give you a tour of the home and be glad for you to. And just uh, like, yeah, I'd love to see the property. Yeah, come, come out and see it. Absolutely. It'll be fun. We'll do a dinner out there or something like that. It'll be great. Um, but so, the wheelchair, um, uh, I am working on actually. Uh, there's a couple guys in Kentucky. Um,